Hey parents, let's talk about college applications for one minute. This is literally one of the most frequent messages that I get all around this time of year, every year. And because you're asking, here's what I have to say about it. When your teenager is avoiding college applications and you of course are aware of external deadlines that you have no control over and you're trying to operate within with colleges and universities. So you are putting college applications in front of your teen. You're bringing them to dinner every night. You're asking them what they want to do. You are literally doing everything you can and you are getting refusal or obvious avoidance. Yes, when you're like, well, then what else do I do? Like, I mean, these aren't my timelines. I've got to work within these. Well, let's start paying attention to the signals your teen is giving you, even if you don't like them. If your teenager is avoiding anything, avoidance is based in anxiety, fear. So if your teen, your graduate, is already stressed out, overwhelmed, depressed, anxious, dealing with ADD, ADHD, whatever it is, then I can tell you for free that a college application is just enough to put their lips right underwater. They're like, no, just no, that was the straw, broke the camel's back, no, just no. If your teenager isn't ready to go to university, or maybe they're just finding the application process too stressful. Why is that wrong? Why is that bad? What is your story about that? Because I'm telling you right now, if your teenager is too overwhelmed to fill out the college applications or is avoiding it because they don't actually want to go or don't feel ready or are so overwhelmed they don't want to be there anyway, why are you going to force it so that you are paying your hard-earned money to tuition that is not going to be supported or appreciated and then they end up failing out in their first semester because it was too much? And I get a lot of those messages too. So pay attention to the message that your teenager's trying to send you, but they might be too afraid to actually voice and articulate to you. Notice, is this your agenda? Because most graduates that I know don't burst into flames and become complete failures in their life if they take a gap year. And for so many teenagers right now, a gap year might be the very best thing that they do to lower stress, figure out what they like and they don't like through part-time or full-time jobs, volunteerism, instead of getting further overwhelmed. Because let's be honest, high school is a garden hose. University, fire hose. Be careful what you're pushing because if you message me a year from now and say they're failing out and you're, you don't know what to do about it, I'm gonna ask you, was your teen the one who was also avoiding filling out the applications because they weren't ready and didn't wanna go but you didn't listen? Here's what I would say to your teenager. Bring out the college applications and let them know that you will make yourself available whenever possible to help fill these out if it feels right for them. That if they choose to attend college, there are external timelines that are not adjustable that will need to be met in order to be a student at that college. And if they don't feel ready and it all feels like too much and they're considering a gap year, you are absolutely in support of that as well. So you're not going to push this on them, yet you are there to empower and encourage them if they feel it's right.